Hello friends and welcome to the final part of the solved form MCQs video series. So our first MCQ of this video, a drug substance is formulated into suppository dosage form according to the following formula. Drug concentration is 3.5% while the base concentration is 1 gram. Now the question is in order to make a batch of 40,000 suppositories, how many grams of the drug should be used? So options are given. And the correct option among these is 1400 grams. So actually 1400 grams of the drug are needed to make a batch of 40,000 suppositories. If you don't know how to solve this calculation problem, then please let me know in the comment section and I will definitely respond to that. Thank you. So our next MCQ. Choose the one statement that correctly depicts the function of the alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes in humans so option one is accelerates the oxidation of alcohol accelerates the reduction of alcohol accelerates the hydrolysis of alcohol accelerates the acetylation of alcohol or acetylates the glucuronidation of alcohol so we have to choose the correct option here and that is accelerates the oxidation of alcohol Actually, the function of alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes in humans is to accelerate the oxidation of alcohol. Now, the next MCQ. Altering the structure of a drug substance has an impact on its biological activity. What will happen if the hydroxyl group is removed from the aromatic ring in the epinephrine structure? So options are given a loss of alpha-1 activity, increased alpha-1 selectivity, loss of beta-1 activity, increased beta-1 selectivity and conversion of epinephrine into norepinephrine. So we have to select the correct option and uh, the right choice here is increased alpha-1 selectivity. So, if we remove hydroxyl group from the aromatic ring and epinephrine structure, it will result in increased alpha-1 selectivity. Rest of the options are not correct. So, our next MCQ. According to World Health Organization, it is estimated that 41 million children under the age of 5 years were overweight or obese in 2016. To refer to this condition, the term used is pandemic, incidence, endemic, prevalence, epidemic. So, actually the correct option here is prevalence. 41 million children under the age of 5 years were overweight or obese in 2016. This actually shows the prevalence of a certain condition in a certain group of population and a certain age is actually indicated in prevalence studies. Now the next MCQ, capsule shells are made with the material called gelatin which belongs to the biochemical class of carbohydrate, lipoprotein, glycolipid, lipid or protein. Actually the capsule shells that is either hard gelatin shells or soft gelatin shells they actually belong to the biochemical class of protein gelatin is actually a protein which research study design cannot be used to determine whether a particular exposure caused the disease or not case control study cohort study randomized control trials cross-sectional study or non-randomized control trials actually research study design that cannot be used to determine whether a particular exposure caused the disease actually one of these study designs cannot be used to determine the causation of a certain condition or disease and that is actually cross-sectional study cross-sectional study actually in this study the exposure and the outcome they are actually studied at the same time so this study cannot be used to determine causation of a disease now the next mcq 
A pharmaceutical company receives a manufacturing order for paracetamol syrup. The client wants 60 ml bottles using 3.6 kg of paracetamol. How many bottles of 120 mg per 5 ml strength of the required syrup would be prepared? So these options are given and you have to calculate this problem. This is a calculation problem and if you don't know how to do this then once again let me know in the comment section and I will respond to that positively. Now the correct option here is 2500 bottles. The following facts about the blood groups are correct except O positive is the most common blood type. B positive and B negative mix will cause a transfusion reaction. AB negative is the least common blood type. O negative blood type can receive blood only from another O negative type and like here or eye color blood type is also inherited from parents so actually uh, these options are about blood groups and we have to identify the one statement that is not correct among these so actually all these statements are correct except one statement and that is b positive and b negative mix will cause a transfusion reaction actually this will not cause a transfusion reaction because a b positive individual can receive blood from b negative and uh, this won't cause any transfusion reaction it is safe to transfuse b positive and b negative blood groups into each other now our next mcq the endothelium derived relaxing factor nitric oxide is synthesized from which amino acid in our bodies so options are histidine lysine leucine arginine and tryptophan the endothelium derived relaxing factor shortly it is called EDRF nitric oxide nitric oxide is synthesized from which amino acid in our bodies so all these amino acids are given and we have to identify the the precursor for this compound called nitric oxide so the amino acid from which nitric oxide is synthesized is actually arginine so correct option here is D now next MCQ medications are given along with their most common side effect identify the one option that is not a correct match metronidazole will cause metallic test a side effect coemoxiplave will cause diarrhea nitrates will cause headache pioglitazone will cause hyperglycemia and propranolol will cause bradycardia so actually medications are given along with their common side effect and uh, we have to identify the one pair which is not a correct match so metronidazole cause metallic test this is correct coemax clave will cause diarrhea antibiotic induced diarrhea nitrates will cause headache as they cause vasodilatation pioglitazone is actually anti-diabetic and and their common side effect is actually hypoglycemia they will reduce the amount of blood sugar very much so the side effect of pioglitazone will be hypoglycemia so this is actually the wrong match and so our correct choice for this mcq is d and definitely propranolol will cause bradycardia since it slows down the heart rate so all the matches all the rest of the matches are correct except d so d option is the correct option here Next MCQ, trifluoridine 1% ophthalmic solution contains thimerosal as an excipient. This compound in the formulation functions as viscosity enhancer, preservative, solubility enhancer, tonicity agent and pH adjusting agent. So this thimerosal is used in the trifluoridine 1% ophthalmic solution as an excipient. So we have to identify the function of this excipient in the formulation. So all these options are given and actually thimerosal acts as a preservative in this formulation. So option B is correct option. So our next MCQ. For a patient with COPD, the doctor has prescribed salbutamol aerosol and beclomethacin aerosol both to be inhaled four times daily. As a pharmacist, how will you counsel this patient regarding the intake of these aerosols? So options are inhale beclomethasone immediately after salbutamol inhale salbutamol immediately after beclomethasone inhale beclomethasone 10 minutes after salbutamol 
inhale beclomethasone 10 minutes before salbutamol and uh, just inhale both aerosols four times daily at any convenient time so actually this mcq is about the counseling of the patient by pharmacist the patient here is taking salbutamol aerosol and beclomethasone aerosol both to be inhaled four times daily so what what advice are how pharmacist will counsel this patient so actually both these aerosols are to be taken in the manner like inhale beclomethasone 10 minutes after salbutamol so option c is our correct option here now our next mcq which stability problem is encountered during the storage of cocoa butter suppositories so options are blooming hardening hygroscopicity brittleness and volume contraction so actually these suppositories cocoa butter suppositories when they are stored they actually encounter a certain stability problem and we have to identify that problem so options are given and correct option here is blooming so a is correct option here they actually develop white spots on their surface and this phenomena is called blooming next mcq the type of epidemiological study in which neither the researcher assigns any exposures nor there is a comparison group is called analytical study descriptive study meta-analysis experimental study and in vitro study so actually in this epidemiological study neither the researcher assigns any exposures nor there is a comparison group this is actually called a descriptive study another type of study in which there is no assignment of exposure but there is a comparison group that is actually called analytical study so our correct option for this mcq is b now next mcq which of the following is not a feature of celiac disease so options are it is an autoimmune disorder can be triggered by a protein called gluten primarily affects the large intestine classic symptoms are bloating and gas and last option impaired ability of the body to absorb nutrients so actually one of these options is not the feature of celiac disease and that is actually c option primarily affects the large intestine this is not actually true about celiac disease because in celiac disease small intestine is primarily affected so option c is correct here now next mcq some drugs are administered as racemic mixtures meaning their preparation is a mixture of their isomers which of the following medicinal agents is not administered as a racemate so options are omeprazole isomeprazole propranolol salbutamol and sicobarbital so actually one of these options is uh, not actually a racemic mixture omeprazole is a racemic mixture propranolol salbutamol sicobarbital these are all racemic mixtures and uh, one option is omeprazole it is not a racemic mixture so which of the following medicinal agents is not administered as a racemate so option b is correct here now next mcq aldosterone exerts its action by acting at which specific site in the nephron structure so options are bowman's capsule primary convoluted tubule thick ascending loop of henle thin descending loop of henle and distal convoluted tubule actually aldosterone exerts its action by acting at the nephronal site of distal convoluted tubule aldosterone acts at distal convoluted tubule and thus exerts its action now next mcq the chemical reaction shown below is an example of so actually in this reaction an ester is reacting with the base and a carboxyl is salt and alcohol is produced so we have to identify what kind of reaction is this options are saponification hydrolysis polymerization neutralization and esterification so actually it is a saponification reaction because a soap is formed in this reaction by combining ester with a base soap is formed so this is a saponification reaction soap is a carboxylate salt here so option a is correct here 
Now next MCQ, recalling the knowledge of pharmacy subjects, opt out this one statement that is incorrect. Options are, the wavelength range for UV in UV visible spectroscopy is 400 to 700 nanometer. TT vaccine is recommended during the first pregnancy in women. Water hardness is the result of calcium and magnesium ions concentration. The term cold place on medicines refers to the temperature between 2 to 8 degrees C and cisplatin is known to induce Fanconi syndrome. So we have to identify the one statement that is not correct here and that is the wavelength fringe for UV visible is 400 to 700 nanometer. Actually it is 200 to 400 that is UV range and visible range is 400 to 700 nanometer. So option A is correct here. Now the last MCQ of the Salt Pharmacy MCQs video series guys is in medical research which studies design is considered to be the gold standard for testing the safety and efficacy of new drugs and treatments. So options are randomized controlled trials or RCTs, prospective cohort study, case control study, cross sectional study and non-randomized controlled trials. So actually in medical research the study design that is considered the gold standard for testing the safety and efficacy of new drugs and treatments is randomized controlled trials. So option A is correct here. So guys this was all about the 1000 salt pharmacy MCQs video series. Thanks for watching.